British worker helped by Russian-backed Ukraine separatists found dead. The Nets official says that Paul Urey, who was captured and accused of being a mercenary, has died while being held hostage by pro-Russia separatists in the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic. In April, the non-profit Presidium Network said Urey had been detained at the checkpoint in southern Ukraine with a fellow Briton, Dylan Hurley. The two men were later charged with mercenary activities by separatists in the rebel-held DNR. Daria Morozova, DNR's ombudsman, who deals with prisoners' rights, wrote on Telegram that Ure died on July 10 as a result of illness and stress. Already during the first medical examination, Paul Ure was diagnosed with a number of chronic diseases, including insulin-dependent diabetes, damage to the respiratory system, kidneys, and a number of diseases of the cardiovascular system. Morozova added, on our part, despite the severity of the alleged crime, Paul Ure was provided with appropriate medical assistance. Dominic Berni, the co-founder and chief operating officer of the President Network, said at the time of Ure's capture that he was working independently in Ukraine as a humanitarian aid volunteer. Ure is the first known foreigner to have died in the custody of pro-Russia separators since the start of the war. Last month, two British men and a Moroccan national captured while fighting in the Ukrainian army were sentenced to death by a court in Donetsk in what officials described as a disgusting Soviet area show trial. Official sources in Kyiv have become increasingly concerned about the fate of Britons, other foreign nationals and Ukrainians held as prisoners of war by the separatist states in Donetsk and Luhansk. They worry that the death of a foreign national like Uray could be a trigger for other executions and terrorist actions by the statelets, which are recognized by Russia but almost nowhere else internationally. This is BBS News. Thank you and see you in the next videos.